Hey guys, Zach here with another video, and today I'm talking about something that's actually very, very, very important. Um, well, as of right now, it is August 30th when this video goes up, so I will not be streaming today because today is actually my birthday, and I kind of want to use this time as the day to take off, but also it's kind of like a moment of silence for our channel and our stream because I have been pushing off a topic that I didn't make a response to video for a long while now, and there's been a couple of you who've been asking about it because they wanted to know my opinion on what's going on. So obviously what I am talking about is the coronavirus and the situation with black people versus the cops right now. And because there's been shootings almost every single day, and a lot of you are wondering why I haven't said anything about it, the reason why I haven't said anything about it is because I don't feel like I'm in the right position to say anything about it. I can't physically put myself in the footsteps of either side to determine, you know, what is right and what is wrong, nor should I in that, um aspect because the fact of the matter is there's so much when it comes to someone's background that you don't know that you can't just assume uh, in these types of sensitive cases. I wanted to talk about trying to make I guess a message out of this video by saying as far as the coronavirus goes and where people are on that there's people out there if you did not know that are claiming that the coronavirus is made up or it's a fluke of some type of political scheme of some kind and whether you believe it or not is completely up to you, and I'm not going to judge you because of that. The fact of the matter is, if you're someone who is terrified and worried and scared of what's happening right now, the best thing I can tell you is, as a sense of hope, to look among the clouds that all of this will eventually, one way or the other, end, and we get a conclusion, hopefully. Um, and not to push that point, but if you're someone who is so terrified where you are constantly just overstocking on medical supplies and, you know, bathroom supplies, please don't be one of those people. The fact of the matter is you are making sure your whole community is clean by having making sure everyone has access to those materials. And the fact of the matter is you're only making it worse if that is the case. Now, to those who don't believe the coronavirus is real, I understand in certain situations it may look like that. And that's fine. If you believe it's not real, so be it. But don't be those types of people who goes into a grocery store or some type of business and says without a mask and claims, it's not a part of the law, I don't have to do it. It's the business's portion to say, hey, you need to have a mask when you're in this facility. If anything, what I'm just generally trying to tell you is make it so that the people who are scared of what's going on, that they feel safe with you being in that environment. If they feel scared and don't want to get close to you or they want you to wear a mask when you're near them, just do it. Don't cause more chaos over someone's fear. What type of person is that? But anyway, that's where I stand with the coronavirus. As far as it goes with the cops and black people, by no means do I think that any lives should be put under one another. By all means, I believe everyone should be treated with respect and, you know, as equals. Am I saying that, you know, cops are all in the wrong and we should get rid of the cops? No. I do believe there is cops out there trying to do better. And the fact of the matter is not all are out to just murder or try and get like a one-off on people. There is cops out there, you know, who are shooting just because of how someone looks. And it's messed up. But by all means, I think there's a lot of cops out there that are trying to do their best and because of it are pinned under this category of cops are mean and evil and racist and that's what they're trying to do. But on the other side, if you look at this, it's black people are being shot like almost every single day for certain reasons that they didn't even have effect to just for a simple conversation. That evidence is out there and by no means do I think they should not be protesting. All means I think protest is necessary. The part where I draw the line between these two groups is that they still have reused violence in the past and my thing is I want to try and keep everything in a peaceful state. I don't want to be the guy who's like this side's right or this side's right. I want to try and be helpful as a mediator and try and fix the problems and find change in a peaceful solution. I know there's probably no likelihood of doing that but in the hope that there is that's why I'm making this video because that's the best I can do. I know that there is a lot going on right now and again I can't really speak for any side and I don't want to say I know what's right or think I know what's right but at the same time I feel that if I don't address this problem I'm just shrugging it off and I don't want to make it seem like that I want to let myself be known that I do 
do care about those situations and it does actually bug me on a mental level day to day. If you want to talk about it in the comments section, I'm completely fine. Just please do not turn it into a fight. I really don't want to have that type of argument in my comment section. I just want to try and find a peaceful solution amongst people. I think this day and age we kind of need that with how much stuff is going on right now. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here. Um, and I know this is kind of awkward just having like a GIF. In my video, normally I have like either gameplay or a drawing video. I feel that it's too distracting. I just want it to be about this topic, so that's why I didn't do that. As far as streaming goes, I'm again, I'm taking the day off and I don't stream on Monday, so the next stream will be Tuesday, so look forward to that. Again, if you're out there and you're struggling, I if you can message me, I have a Discord. I'm willing to talk to you privately if anyone's struggling. I want to try and help those that are in suffering during these times and I kind of feel a bit bad not acknowledging or sending out this video earlier than I should have. Um, so I'm sorry for that. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.